Hi all. Let us discuss today topic is that you know automatic create work definitions and how we can create the work, automatic work definition and what are the prerequisites is required for the to create uh, auto automatic work definition and what are the limitation of this automatic work, uh, you know or create work definition and which scenario we are going to we are creating this automatic work definition in oracle cloud okay so this automatic work definition okay once we are creating that item okay on item and item structure then it will we are going to create that uh, you know automatically work definition without maintaining that work definition manually okay so this automatic work definition applicable only to discrete manufacturing if we do not have a uh, as of now we do not have the option or this feature uh, for the process manufacturing okay and uh, let's say uh, this scenario for example there are uh, some kitting or lightly assembled uh, you know uh, manufacturing products or uh, anything so minimum things uh, mean small work definition we have right so there is no multi level uh, you know uh, item structures or kitting kind of thing then we are going to it will help us to create the autom uh, this one automatic work automatic create a work definition it will help us to work, okay so this main advantage for this right so once we create that right we don't maintain manually the work definitions uh, when we have the item let's say for example once we create that work definition right so if we have any updates in item structure so we need to okay we need to manually maintain the uh, no we need to manually run there is a program that process uh, uh, to sync that right the process item structure uh, sorry there is a one program process item structure changes to work definition we need to schedule or we need to sync that item changes to that or you know uh, update in work definition or this kind of the, if we have this one automatic work definition no need to run this manually it's so automatically it will sync that or in work definition okay and this uh, here right there is a few limitation here uh, one is that okay or uh, prerequisites that we should have at least one uh, operation standard operation uh, in our application and that to in standard application uh, that operation we need to enable that automatic create work definition there is a one checkbox i will going to show you that one that operation as well so we need to enable that checkbox and definitely one active or a main uh, work definition name it should be an available okay or default for automatic work definition actually that checkbox in standard operation and there is a pre two prerequisites should be available okay and apart from that is a ma uh, you know manufacturing configurations and all of uh, work item structure and all everything okay and resources if you it's a resource is optional if you have the any resource then that kind of thing and but here right uh, limitation that uh, that automatic work definition can have only one operation and we cannot select as of now we cannot select the multiple operation for the automatic work automatic uh, work definition create work definition and uh, there is the one and this okay oh uh, you cannot edit automatic work definition once we create it manually we cannot update uh, and we cannot edit anything and except there is a few thing few columns that is the you know production uh, priority and cost uh, costing priority there is the two fields only the two fields only we can update that okay and we cannot search for your automatic work configuration using adf bdi there is a adf bdi feature right so to load the work configurations and all to search or like that so we cannot you know uh, uh, search that what you know uh, automatic work definition using the adf bdf and even you cannot print work definition report uh, for the automatic
might do a definition as well. Okay. These are the limitations. Okay. So let us uh, create, you know, uh, automated work definition. Okay. And first we let us uh, create one uh, standard operations. Then we can do this one. Okay. Go supply chain execution and work definition. So either we can create a new work uh, standard operation or we can existing one also we can enable that and we can create. I am going to what I will do. Okay. So I am going to you know create. I mean I am going to select this one uh, existing uh, ones. I am going to update the existing standard operation. Okay. So these are the already, I mean, already we are existing one we are selecting. Let's say which one I can take. Okay. Okay. Let me create the new one then. It's okay. Fine. Here in house, so there is another one. I will, I think our definition we I have, we can find, you know, other video how we can, what is the, how we can create the work definition in Oracle Fusion. You can, you know, you can uh, go through that video and you can find that. Okay, and let's say I'm okay. and yes, automatic work definition. Okay, then work center. I'm selecting existing one. Anything. Let's say for example, lab testing existing one. See, this is the checkbox is a very important. It should be enabled. Okay. And resource are uh, optional. So, I am going to just save and close. That's all. Okay. Then click the done. Now, I am going to create that item and item structure. Okay. So, here. Product management and product information management. Bear with me, it look like you know, a bit slow. Is this the main chances on okay. Great item. So we are creating the item in you know mass. Then uh, here uh, let's take this finished good anything itself fine, just appropriate uh, template uh, just select the appropriate template and see yes. Let's say I am creating the component. Okay. Then let us verify that, you know, how attribute. So, yes, push, okay, and uh, in purchasing, uh, this is all, all optional, let's okay, fine, then. Click the save, and this is the, this is the component, actually. Association, then I'm going to associate that to G double zero two so Atlanta. Okay, apply.
okay see now i'm going to create this is a component i'm going to create finished code CS finished course okay. I don't work. work definition and I just verify that attributes. Just similar general items. This one, how we can you know create the items for that you know work of manufacturing as a component and as a finished book. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Then associate. Play. Save the code structure. Okay, we need to before we, we need to create that item structure in the arc level. So click the right arc. Then in arc, right? Let's see this the item is in arc. Okay. Then go to the item structure. In item structure, just go and create from the comma I don't let me go this way just to click the create let's see yeah so name uh, we can give that as a primary Click done. Okay. Then uh, click the primary. Then here, right? Just select action. Select and add. Okay. CS. Okay. At least three characters. Component right, then play. Okay, just click the done. Okay, item structure also, then just save. Okay, now in item structures go the action and click the create automatic work definition see an automatic work definition was created click ok just time to save or close save and close just save I'm closing this everything. Then the home, home. Then go the supply chain execution. Open the work definition. Here, see. Here we are not able to open, and we are not able to edit yet. See here. So if you want to do anything, then let. Let me see. Okay, so here go manage work definitions.
someone uh, oops. No, it is something that's happened. Okay, that that this way actually we can uh, create a automatic definition. I hope uh, it's helping for you. Thank you.